oh, oh, she says she wants some Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross, a little Anita, but definitely set this party up. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jameer Fisher back in here with a whole nother YouTube video. And before we even get into the video, y'all already know I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the post notifications every time you will post another video. <sighs> so, tonight, we're gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be, well, I know everybody has seen the little, um, the little article that's going on about, and oh yeah, don't, don't mind, look, bruh, look, 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 bruh, don't look, don't mind this, okay? I look rough under here. I had to get a haircut this weekend because you know your boy finna be out here. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I, uh, I know y'all been seeing the little article about Lil Baby and how he almost, well, somebody, I guess somebody ran up on him while he had his kid with him or somebody almost shot him, one or the other. But I know his kid was with him. And I think Lil Baby, he was like, oh, don't play with me like that because I don't play like that. Like, don't do that. Don't do too much. And I felt them on that. So we just gonna do the re uh, uh, this is gonna be basically like a little reaction video to it. Excuse the noise y'all hear in the background. That's the fan. It's hot in my room. So we just gonna um, scrum court this three, two, one. By the boom, by the bang. All right, let's get right into it. So being a rapper, you never know what's gonna happen. Mm -mm. We ain't doing none of that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's up, Javoke here, and today we have a new video. So being a rapper is a very dangerous job, coming from the bottom to the top. You want to live your life, you are happy, you made a way to feed yourself and your family. However, you have to move differently and be aware of your surroundings at all times. But the way the world is today, anything can happen. People will take your life for the smallest thing, and I care about it. Well, today a fan saw a little baby at a gas station in Atlanta, and it looks like he was too excited. He saw him, and he approached them, and it didn't turn out too good for him because in this video, the man apologized to little baby and tells them he ain't on no BS and also Lil Baby was with his son as well. Okay, I'm gonna just pause it right here. Me to Lil Baby, why why would you even drive? Why would you drive your G Wagon out there without security or anything just by yourself like at this point like you're too comfortable in your own city like that's how the dogs got killed like no that that wasn't smart and then my thing is i feel them i do feel the baby on that because it's a ways of approaching people approaching and maybe he maybe the guy in the video he approached him in a bad way because he i guess he wanted to get the reaction from the baby that he was giving or something like that, but he turns out he didn't get none of it. So I mean, I, I wouldn't say because I know, like I've been reading some comments and people was like, "Oh yeah, the baby, he's too ahead of himself. This and that, or he think he's all this, he thinks he's all that." It's not really that, but it's it is kind of like a respect or privacy in this way he's approaching people. So. Now you find, you Also, by looking at this video, we can see that little baby was bothered by the look on his face. He wanted to get the hell up out of there, probably because his family was being annoying. He did not want to be around that. Also, there is no security in sight, man, unless that security is hiding somewhere around this parking lot. It was just very scary to see this because what if that wasn't a fan trying to take a picture or whatever, and it was somebody trying to harm little baby? Also, the person who approached little baby, he posted this on his Instagram story. He said, here, one thing I can say about little baby, ain't scared like these other rappers. He was ready to go all out. So it appears that little baby has this pull on him and he was ready to do. However, it is still scary to see him out there with no security because in this video it appears that there's no security in sight. But obviously little baby is no dummy. He's gonna protect himself and also his child. And also just two weeks ago, some fans spotted him in his McLaren, which is another sign that it's very scary to be a rapper out here when somebody does spot you because you don't know if that person's out to get you. Oh, 
Did y'all hear what she just said? Uh, some she just called the girl and she said, "Shut up." Basically, in this part, I guess they seen him at the red light or some, and they wanted to catch up with him. And I guess it made little baby feel uncomfortable. And I feel like with that part, I feel like, I mean, if they just want a video, if they just want a video of you, let them get a video of you. Like, don't don't do too much. Like, you know, like. If I was him, like, I wouldn't mind it. Cause I mean, hey, they just want a video. What could go wrong with a video? I mean, a lot could go wrong, but still, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, you know. Okay, but basically this was, that's a whole nother, but um, yeah, like, Honestly, how I feel about it, like, like I said, I mean, he got approached wrong and he felt like he felt he jumped into defense mode because he was with his kid. And which that makes sense because, you know, if you're, you, you, you famous and you see someone, you coming out the store with your kid and you see someone running up on you, like, and then you, you don't have your security guard. That, that's for one. You don't have your security security or nobody with you. It's just you. But he didn't stand down. Like he wasn't he wasn't going for none of that. Like you could tell by the face he, the look on his face, like he wasn't going for none of that. And I can't say that I can sit here and say that I blame him because I don't. You know, because he gotta protect not only do he has to protect himself, he gotta protect him. He, he I keep getting tongue tied. Not only do he have to protect himself, he gotta protect the kid too. So yeah, that's just um, really how I feel about that. Um, yeah, I gotta stop. I gotta work on. That's one thing I said. I gotta work on. I gotta work on saying um so much because like I get nervous when I get to talking, and I just like um um, and I gotta stop doing it. So that's a part of my anxiety. Like I don't like. To, I mean, when I talk to people, I get nervous because I'd be like, I'd be wondering like how people may look at me or what they think of me, and I get shy and I get nervous, and I get real hot, so I'd be like, um, like, you know, but, um, you see, like what I just did, just did. So, this basically completes this video on how I feel about it, cause like, everybody been talking about it. Like, that's all I've been hearing, everybody just, they just talking about it, it's just like everywhere. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like, really, it's spreading like hotcakes. So, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications every time your boy posts another video. If you treat yourself like royalty, you know these folks gotta respect y'all. Y'all know this. Damn, y'all acting brand new for and I love y'all. And we're gonna be at 1K by the end of that July. So make sure y'all hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button. And don't play with me. I love y'all. Love y'all a long time. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out.